review some guitar basics so we can get you ready to play some bluegrass. Okay, the first thing we want to look at is this stuff right here. This is tab or tablature. Tab has six lines and the six lines represent the six strings on your guitar. The top line is your high string or your little string and the bottom line is your low string or your big fat string. So uh, the best way to think about tab is if I'm holding my guitar, I lay it down on my lap like this and now I would be reading the tab the exact same way that I'm looking at my strings. Okay, So the little string, the little string is the top line and the big string is the bottom line. Now what we're going to wind up doing with tab is we're going to wind up writing numbers on the lines like we have over here. We'll look at that in a minute. The numbers are telling us what fret to play. So the frets are uh, the metal pieces here. All these metal pieces are my frets. So this first metal piece is my first fret. So what that means is that this whole space is my first fret. I can push anywhere anywhere in this space and I'm going to be on the first fret. And this is the second fret. Anywhere here. Anywhere within this slot. Third fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, like that. And so the numbers are telling us what fret and on what string. Okay, we'll look at that more in just a minute. First let's take a look at the string names because I'm going to be saying things like it's on the A string, it's on the D string, play the E string. Okay, so going from low to high, uh, we have E, A, D, G, B, E. We have two E strings, a low E and a high E. The two outside strings are both E strings. So E, A, D, G, B, E. Okay, and that's playing them open. When I say open, that's not pressing anywhere. E, A, D, G, B, E. playing open like that, not pressing anywhere, it's the same as writing a zero, okay? So you can think of open as the zero fret. Open. Okay. And um, you can see on your um, PDF attachment, um, there's uh, a few different sayings that people use. Some people like to use the saying, Eddie and Dean go by eggs. That's the first letter of each word. Eddie and Dean go by eggs. E A D G B E. Uh, some people like the saying, uh, Eddie ate dynamite, good by Eddie. Eddie ate dynamite, good by Eddie. Okay, so if I said, play me the A string, open. So, Eddie and. And, 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 okay? Play me the B string, okay? Eddie and Dean go by. Bye, 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 bye. Play me the high E string, as in high pitch, okay? Eddie and Dean go by eggs. Eggs. Play me the low pitch E string, the low E string. Eddie. Good. That's it. Those are the string names. Okay, now let's take a look over here at the tab, okay? Um, because for all of your songs, I'm giving you the melody, and so uh, you want to just be comfortable reading tab. Don't be intimidated by it. Get used to it. It's an easy way for guitar players to quickly learn how to play something without having to read music. Um, I still think it's a good idea to eventually learn how to read music, but if you uh, can't right now and you don't have time to, then you can jump right into tablature. Um, and there is tons of stuff online, uh, tabs for you to learn almost, almost anything. Okay, so if we look at this, uh, we've got 3-3, three, three, 
All right, and that's on the top line, which is the high pitch string. So the three, three, so third fret and then third fret again. So it's one, two, three, okay? So third fret, and then third fret again. All right, now on the string underneath it, we've got two threes, okay? So three, three on the B string, and then a one, and then a three. And then a zero on the high string, which is open. And then one on the B string, and then three on the B string. All right, let's try that again. So three, three, high string. And then three, three on the B string. And then one, three. Open, high string. And one, three on the B string. Okay. Let's put that together again. All right. And that is the beginning of our melody for Cripple Creek. Okay? It's easy, right? You just read the number and you go to that fret on that string and you press it. Simple, right? And we're already getting started with Cripple Creek. Okay, so that is how to read tab. Um, tab is not telling you what finger to use. It does not care what finger you use. Um, so when you're reading the numbers, don't think fingers. It doesn't care. Actually, it doesn't matter if you used your elbow or your nose. You could use anything to push on these frets. This is only telling you what fret. Tab only says, play this fret on this string. Okay. Um, so let's move on to our chords. Um, when you see the chords on the tab, they're all going to be lined up in one column all together. They're stacked up. So that means that we have to play them all together. Um, so when we are playing the chords, pay attention to how many of the strings we're strumming. Sometimes we're strumming all six strings, sometimes it's only five, and sometimes it's only four. So kind of pay attention to what the lowest string is that you have to strum from. Okay, so let's run through the basic chords. Uh, we've got a G chord. And check out my fingering, okay? I'm just strumming down, so really check out my fingering here. Starting my G chord like that, all right? Now my D chord, okay? I'm gonna make my D chord like this, these two fingers, and I'll leave the string open in between, and the ring finger goes right there on the in-between string. Strum it from the D string, because it's the D chord. Okay, C chord. Strumming from the A string, right? So it's a five string chord. I don't hit the low E string. Okay. Now an A chord. So A chord is two, two, two. Yep. And I'm strumming it from the open A string. So this is another five string chord. See so how I've got my fingers all kind of tapered together like this? They're all on the second fret. That's the 222. Two, two. And then I've got the open high E string also. This is the A chord. Okay. Now let's do the E chord. This is a six string chord. Okay. Now let's do an A minor chord. So I'm going to take my E chord and just move everything down a string. That's an easy way to do an A minor. It's A minor. If I take the same finger shape and move it up a string, now I've got an E. And if I go down, now it's A minor. Okay? Let's take a look at our uh, D minor. All right, so one, three, two, and I'm going to strum D minor from the D string, OK? 
A lot of times these chords, um, the name of the chord will tell you where to start playing it from. So the D chord and the D minor, you strum from the D string, open. The A chord and the A minor, you both strum from the A string, because they're A chords. The E chord and the E minor, which we haven't done yet, we're going to do it right now, E minor, we strum from the E string because there are E chords, E or E minor, okay? Good. Um, let's take a look at the um, B7 chord. B7 pops up from time to time. So I'm going to kind of start this one almost like a G chord. This is a four finger chord. I started, like we start a G chord like this. I'm going to start it on the A string and on the 2nd fret. So 2nd fret, 1st fret, 2nd fret. And then open B string, and I need to get my pinky all the way on the high string on the 2nd fret. And I'm strumming it from the A string. That's a B7. Good. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So these are the basic chords. Kind of giving you a walkthrough on um, uh, on how to finger them. It's pretty simple. Most of these open chords, we're not going to use our pinky. The only time we're going to use our pinky on an open chord is if there's four notes in it that need to be fretted. If there's only three notes or less that we actually have to push on, then we're not going to use our pinky. Okay. So um, now in your uh, documents, uh, there will be some other chords that I'm showing you, some other open seven chord shapes um, and minor seven chord shapes. Um, so these are all good ones to know. But in terms of uh, being able to play these songs, um, the ones that we just went through, uh, we'll get you there. Oh, I uh, need to show you the F chord also, and there's a few different variations on the F chord, okay? So the F chord is a bar chord. Um, F chord is a hard one to do a lot of times because uh, we have to press on all six strings to do the full F chord. This is what I call the full F chord. I'm basically using my index finger and I'm pressing on every string on the first fret, okay? So I'm pressing on all six strings on the first fret with my index. Youch! Okay, now I go with my two little fingers on the third fret and the third fret on the A and the D strings. My middle finger goes on the second fret on the G string. Okay? Uh. And strum all six. That's an F chord. Okay? It's a pretty hard one to do. Um, so there is an easy way to play an F chord where it's like this. If I take a C chord, okay? Here's a C chord. And now I'm just going to bring these two fingers down a string, right? So, going from the high string, I've got nothing, one, two, three. Nothing, one, two, three. Okay, and I'm just going to do these three notes. This is an easy F. What I will sometimes do is I'll take the easy F, and I move my ring finger down here, to the 3rd fret on the A string, and my pinky goes 3rd fret on the D string. So I added one more note. It gives it a little bit more bass. It's still a relatively easy chord to play. I'm just giving a little bit more low end into the sound of the chord. Sounds good. Okay, so quick recap on the F. We've got the full F, which is the bar chord, all six strings. We've got the easy F, which is just one, two, three, starting on the B string, starting on the B, one, two, three. And then we've got...
got the the Dan's F chord, which I just bring these guys down, and we fill it up a little bit more. Okay. So now those chords should get you all the way through um, all of the songs in the song section. Um, and to be honest with you, most bluegrass songs. All of the chords we just covered off on will get you through most bluegrass songs. Um, okay, so now let's take a quick look at uh, the rhythm counting, okay? So we've got quarter, I wrote a uh, quarter, and here we have eighth, okay? Um, so the way that every measure works is you are going to have, usually usually it's going to be four beats total inside of a measure. And you'll know you're dealing with a measure because you're either going to have a dash telling you that it's a new measure, a new measure, a new measure, or it's going to be a big line, um, which is called a measure break. And that's going to tell you it's a new measure. And inside of every big line measure break or dash, we have to equal four beats total. Um, so, for quarter notes, that's going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Those are quarter notes. Quarter notes are what people call the beat. The beat. What's the beat? The beat is quarter notes. So, the beat goes one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. In terms of strumming, when we talk about doing basic strumming, um, doing quarter note strumming, we're just going to strum everything down. All the quarter notes are just down strums, okay? So if I'm on a G chord, I'm going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just doing quarter note strumming all down, okay? Let me show you one thing I'm doing with my pick because um, this can sometimes help people out a lot. Uh, you've got your pick, right? And I'm just holding it between my thumb and my pointer, right? Um, I just have a, so here's my pick. I just have a tiny bit of the point sticking out, okay? So I don't have a whole lot of my pick sticking out when I'm playing. I just have a little bit of the point sticking out. Okay, because I don't need that much of it. The whole purpose of the pick is to be an extension of your fingernail. So it's meant to be kind of like an extra fingernail to use when you're strumming. We don't need that much, we just need a little bit. And when I have just a little bit sticking out, I'm also going to brush the side of my thumb and the tip of my finger against the strings a little bit, and it's going to give me a little bit of a softer sound so I can control the sound a little bit more. When I'm doing down strums, I don't want my pick pointing directly at the sound hole. Um, I want it slightly pointed up toward my face, so I can see the point. Almost like a paintbrush. When we're strumming, it's like we're painting with a paintbrush. If I have it pointing directly at my guitar, it's going to be harsh, it's going to be too abrasive, it'll sound like this. Not good. Too much. So I want to do gentle and I want to do it like a brush. So it'll be pointing toward my face. If I'm doing an up strum, I want to do the opposite. I want to have it pointing down just a little bit, okay? And it's the exact same thing. If I have it pointing toward the guitar and I do an up strum, ugh, it's no good. It sounds too hard. So I want to just slightly, it's pointing down. That sounds better. So when I'm going down, up, down, up with my strumming, it's like a paintbrush. I'm kind of rotating my wrist a little bit. So I'm getting a smoother sound from it. I don't have that much.
much pick sticking out, just a tiny little bit of the point, okay? And I'm going to keep on moving my wrist like a paintbrush. Excellent, okay? And that takes us to eighth note strumming. So when I am doing the ups, the ups happen in between one, two, three, and four. So the ups are the ands, and that's these plus signs. So the plus sign, we say and, 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 one, and, two, and, three, and, four, and, one, and, two, and, three, and, four, and. The one, two, three, four are all the downs, and the plus signs or the ands are the ups, okay? So we're going one, and, two. I do two measures in a row, I don't do a pause at the end. I don't do this. One and two and three and four and one and two. Don't do that. No pause. Just keep going. This guy keeps going. You keep strumming. You don't stop. Okay? You keep counting. You keep counting. One and two and three. sound more like music because we just keep on flowing with it. We keep counting, we keep strumming, we don't stop. Okay, so um, that is all of the basics that I think we need uh, in order to move us along to getting to these songs. So um, just familiarize yourself with the string names. So if I say play the A string, you say A string. Play the D string, D string, okay? Um, reading the tab, um, the third fret on the high string, or um, what if I said uh, play the uh, second fret on the G string, okay, second fret on the G string, one, two, good. Running through all of the chord shapes and getting familiar with them, and um, also the quarter note strum, which is one, two, three, four, all downs. And then with the eighth note strum, which is one and two and three and four and, adding the ups in between. So I think that this should get you there and we're just about ready to go.